Hi, we are Project Scorpio, which is part of Scientific Society Off-Road, based at Wrocław University of Science and Technology at the Faculty of Mechanical Engineering. The team is supervised by Professor Dudziński and Dr. Kosobutski. The member consists of mechanical, electrical, science and software engineers, which are divided into three projects working at specific parts of the rover. We can define five project groups working on robotic arm, effector, optimization of driving unit, rotor antennas and mobile laboratory. Previous versions of the Scorpio rovers were characterized by a crude construction based on electromechanical actuators. This year's manipulator has six degrees of freedom powered by 24 volt DC motors. The biggest change this year is the use of harmonic gears. They have been used because of the high transmission ratio at low overall dimensions and the possibility of better wiring of the electronical harness. In order to reduce weight, we limit the number of aluminum elements in favor of the carbon fiber. For controlling the manipulator, we use the inverse kinematics in three dimensions. Scorpio X construction is made mainly using aluminum and lightweight polyamide materials with very good mechanical properties. Main elements of the rover are metal frame, metal case that are made using aluminum, and the drive module, which is equipped with 1 kW BLDC motors. The rover's suspension is called the Rocker. The Rocker is a simplified version of Rocker Boogie, which is being used in Curiosity Rover. We decided not to change suspension and drive model from the ones used in previous year because they behave very well in various conditions. Besides that, they were tested in JPL and approved by NASA engineers. To ensure that the rover's construction won't be damaged during the competition, we made a lot of FEM durability analysis. The project is divided into modules connected using CAN bus and LAN. As a rover main computing unit, we are using NVIDIA Jetson TX2, which is coordinating all other modules. The most important components are my controls, robotic arm control unit, IMU and DGPS. For RF link, we are using 900 MHz and 2.4 GHz frequencies. Uniform hardware layer allows us to implement the common software layer used by all modules. Each electronic module is made of two parts. First one is a universal logic board, which contains communication interfaces and stable source of power for the whole module. Second one is a specific circuit, which executes specific tasks depending on its purpose. The rover's vision is based on the main camera mounted on the mast. Its module is able to perform two axis rotations and contains a motozoom lens. Rest of the cameras are mounted in the specific locations, which allows us to get the vision of the surroundings all around the rover. The task specifies to recognize a tennis ball. For the image recognition task, we used a convolutional neural network. Real-time differential GPS is the measurement method which uses two stations, base and rover, the GNSS receiver uses more satellite positioning systems like GPS, Beidou and GLONASS, which simultaneously improve measurements accuracy. Differences between actual measurements for the base station and its real position are sent with the Wi-Fi or GSM carrier to the rover. The receiver gets those corrections and sums them with the position measured by the own GNSS receiver on the rover. The science group is conducting and developing simple chemical analysis allowing to characterize the environment. All data are measured on board the rover. There are two types of sensors. First group is located on the mast and capable of continuously measuring temperature, humidity and UV index. We also provide our rover with a set of sensors which allow a soil sample analysis. The robotic arm has a special effector designed to collect small amount of soil for further analysis of pH, conductivity and humidity. All sensors are placed in a special container isolated from the environment. We also design and develop DIY UVV spectrophotometer, which provides us with valuable life science information. The robotic arm is also capable of measuring environmental parameters of sample collecting sites, like carbon dioxide and methane concentration, as well as temperature and radiation level, to name a few. This set of data allow us to describe the ambient environment with respect to life science. Any chemicals or water used on board are safe and will be not split on the ground.